situation on the ground is far worse than it's been reported so far. Search and rescue operation continues since yesterday with limited resources that the Taliban-led government has. The Afghan Red Crescent Society, uh, personnel from the Ministry of D Disaster Management, Interior Affairs and Defense have been deployed to the areas. I also spoke with Herat Central Hospital staff and they told that uh, the health facilities are out of medicines and healthcare resources and need immediate assistance from the international organizations. The reason for such a huge loss is poorly made suburban buildings and shelters that lack adequate standards to stand even a magnitude of five to six. About six villages reportedly have been totally destroyed and hundreds of civilians still are under, uh, buried under the debris. The local uh, authorities and the area affected uh, provinces of fear that they told me rise as the rescue operation still continue and unknown number of people are still uh, buried under the debris, uh, especially in two uh, areas of Zindajan and uh, Badghis province. Also, Farah is unclear. Uh, thousands of residents in Herat, Badghis and Farah provinces have been evacuated the areas and have been relocated in central Herat or other neighboring provinces. Also, rescue uh, supporters from Kabul and other provinces have reached the area. There are still uh, struggles by the locals and other Afghan people who have uh, uh, facilities or resources to help the people. And that's a call from the affected people and the authorities in the area to bring the immediate relief aid to the areas while this strategy will still continue for a couple of days and the search and rescue operation is on the way.